You need to install a new outlet or replace an existing outlet. In five minutes or less, you can do it with these. You don't believe me? Let me show you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're a longtime subscriber, welcome back. You guys know the routine. You guys have heard me talk about the Leviton Decora Edge outlets and light switches. And today I'm gonna to be going over the actual install of these things. I got an outlet here. I just wanna use it for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how easy it is to install this thing. It really takes five minutes. As usual, I'll leave a link in the description to everything that I use here. So don't worry about trying to figure out what I'm using. You can always find it. It's always down below. And I'll always put timestamps. So if you guys want to skip ahead to a part of the video, but you shouldn't need to because it's only going to be five minutes. Chances are it's going to take you longer to turn off your breaker and get things set up than it's going to actually be installing this outlet. And that's amazing. Anyway, what you came here to see is me changing this outlet. So let's go ahead and do it. And you guys can see exactly how fast and awesome it is to use these things. All right, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure your power is off. You can see here, I have no power going to this outlet. If you guys don't know how to turn off the breaker or turn off the power to your outlet, you can do it the old fashioned way by having somebody help you out. Or you can use the circuit breaker finder. Uh, there might be a video somewhere around here that shows you how to do it. But first thing you want to do is make sure that you got the power turned off. Now that you have your power turned off, you want to go ahead and remove the faceplate. Once you have your faceplate removed, you can go ahead and set it to the side. Now you want to remove your outlet by removing the two screws here. You can either use a screwdriver or a screw gun if you have one. Now that you have your screws removed, you can go ahead and remove your outlet. Now, I have enough slack here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut the wires off here. You may have your wires attached to the screws on your outlet. Just go ahead and remove this, the wires. And I always like to double check my wiring just to make sure that they've wired it correctly and there's no confusion in the wires that are existing. As you can see here, the silver terminals are going to my white, which is my neutral. And the copper terminals here are going to my black, which is my hot. And of course, I have my bare copper wire here, which is going to the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the wires off. Now that you have your wires here, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and strip them. Now for the Leviton Decora Edge and the Leviton Decora Edge series, you want to strip about 9 16 of an inch off and leave 9 16 exposed. I like using this wire stripper because it makes it fast and easy to go ahead and strip my wires and I get the, I get an accurate strip every time I do it. So I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to know where to get something like this. It's a, actually a pretty cheap tool, but it works pretty well. Now for the fun part. Now on the Leviton outlet, you have two um, access points for your hot, two for your neutral and one for your ground. So what I want to do first is I want to pull up on my ground lever, slide the ground slide the ground wire in as far as it can go and then close my switch do a little pull test that's secure next i want to go ahead and do my neutral again pull up on my neutral lever slide the neutral wire all the way in and close it do a little pull test to make sure it's nice and snug last but not least i'll go ahead and slide the hot wire in pull up on the lever again slide it in Close the lever down and do a little pull test. And guess what? Your outlet is now installed. Now it's time to put it all back together. Pretty straightforward. We go ahead, put it back in. One thing to note before I put this back on, you see these little tabs up here? I'm gonna to have to break them off. Because of this style box, it's not gonna be able to fit my faceplate around. So you wanna make sure that you check your faceplate before to see if you need to remove these tabs or not. They're pretty easy. They just, you just wiggle them back and forth and they'll be able to break right off. Now that you have the tabs removed, just go ahead and tighten your outlet. Now that you have your, your outlet nice and tight, you can go ahead and put your faceplate back on. Mm -hmm. 
once again now you have your screws all in and for all you electricians out there i put them all vertical some of you guys want them horizontal but whatever and just like that you got your new outlet installed five minutes easy no problems now all you need to do is turn on your breaker and make sure that everything is wired up correctly as you can see here we got all our lights good to go our circuit is wired correctly and it only took five minutes all right welcome back so guess what I told you we could do it in five minutes and if you followed along you saw exactly how easy it is to do these things are changing the way people do electrical DIY nowadays it's awesome super easy user friendly plug and play everything that you can ask for for a DIY project now listen they're not expensive and if you haven't seen my review you can check it out somewhere around here where I talk about all the features that are built into this thing right here but trust me if you guys are into DIY and you need to update your outlets look no further these will save you time money and a lot of the frustrations that you have to deal with when you're doing it with just a standard outlet and also listen if you guys like my content the best thing you can do is smash that like button it helps the channel and it spreads the word to other DIYers out there so if you guys found this helpful and you want to install these you guys know where to pick them up links in the description below and for anything else that we covered in this video you can always find it down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one.